In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a rigid body simulation in Blender 4.2 and you can bake it out to your keyframe. So it's actual animation with keyframes that you can adjust and mess with in the animation settings. Um, this is really fun because there might be some situations where you you want an actual animation and you don't want it to be a simulation. And this is where that'll be handy. So we'll quickly set up a little situation with some rigid bodies and then I'll show you how to bake the simulation to your keyframes in a real simple um, and easy to understand way. So I'm gonna assume you might not have a scene. So if you wanted to follow along, you could just add in a plane by going Shift A and adding in a plane and adding in the default cube or using the default cube if you haven't deleted it. And then you have two objects to work with. For me, I just have this little object here that I've made that's a bit more interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that, but a cube will work the same. So we're gonna go ahead and just select the object we want to add rigid bodies to. Let's go over to the physics and just click on rigid body and make sure you go to frame one. And then you can come here to the collision and change the shape to mesh. And that's about all you have to do. And then select whatever you want it to interact with. And then under the physics, give that a rigid body as well. Change it to passive. And then under the collision, make sure it's convex hull, which it should be by default. So now if you go to frame one and you hit the space bar, you're gonna have a simulation like so. Now I have 70 frames here. I might make mine 50 frames just as to demonstrate. So 50 frames of simulation. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go over here to your scene properties. You're gonna to go to the rigid body world. And then over here, you can go down to the cache and you can take the end value and change it to whatever you want. So in this case, I have 50 frames. I just wanna simulate 50 frames. So I'm gonna go from one to 50. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bake. And now it's baked this into my file here. So now all you have to do is select your object and then go over to object, go over to your rigid body, bake to keyframes. And then it's gonna give you this little window here. And we wanna go from frame one to frame 50, which is correct. And we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And here we have a whole bunch of keyframes now. So now this is actually animation. So what we can do now is we can also come over here and go change this to a graph editor. And here we can see we've got all the different transforms here with these nice curves. And you know, you can come here and edit them any point you want. And that's it. So instead of having to do all of that tedious animation by hand, we have now just cheated by baking our simulation to the keyframes. So I'll see you guys next time for another Blend tutorial and thank you for watching.